students we see a variety of organisms around us for example man mango tree monkey cockroach frog parrot spirogyra etc now if you start observing them you will realize that they look different their food is different and so on so students if you have to study them will it be possible for you it is really difficult to study them without classification but what is classification classification is making groups and subgroups based on similarities and differences children have you visited a shopping mall have you seen different sections in the mall so can you make a list of various sections from a mall in a shopping mall you will find sections like grocery electronic items garments jewelry etc so just imagine if such sections are not made what will happen there will be chaos in the mall now let's apply same logic for organisms their grouping is necessary otherwise it will be chaos making our task difficult now we will group organisms from the following list can you place them in two groups let's group these organisms based on the food they eat and locomotion students you will notice that organisms from group plants prepare their food but they do not show locomotion on the other hand animals cannot prepare their food but they show locomotion in this way by studying features of organisms groups and subgroups are made this is systematic and scientific study in classification we usually begin with the largest group like kingdom and move down to smaller groups like species so in other words this is called hierarchy hierarchy is a system in which members are ranked according to their relative status or importance let's see a following example here earth is the planet in solar system land masses on earth are divided into continents india is one country out of many from continent asia in the next level we realize that maharashtra is one out of many states in india and finally pune is one city from maharashtra state students you will realize that in this hierarchy the earth is the first and biggest level all the next levels of hierarchy are a part of previous level thus finally earth includes all the levels similarly let's take another example of hierarchy in this example kingdom is the highest rank in this group all animals are included they have common features like absence of cell wall or they cannot prepare their food or they show locomotion etc the last rank in this hierarchy is species it tells us something about single organism or the smallest unit it represents only one type of organism students have you realized how big the task is you must study all features of an organism first and then place it in appropriate group just now students you have seen classification of man to understand the process of classification we will compare few animals that you know these animals share some common characteristics and at the same time show some striking differences therefore in the beginning they are placed in common groups but later their groups become different we will consider three names man bat and kangaroo students i am sure that you are familiar with bat and kangaroo from the level kingdom till class mammalia man bat and kangaroo show many characteristics in common hence they are placed in kingdom animalia phylum chordata 
class mammalia but after this they have to be placed in different orders due to the differences in their characters now let's have a look at their classification kingdom animalia man bat and kangaroo lack cell wall in their cells they move from one place to another they cannot prepare their food phylum chordata man bat and kangaroo possess bones inside their bodies and a notochord a body supporting rod class mammalia in these females gives birth to young ones mammary glands are present heart has four chambers etc but from this level their groups are different due to the differences in them so let's see the next level of hierarchy that is order order primates man belongs to this order animals of this order possess opposable thumb they have nails instead of claws and they have accurate vision order chiroptera bat is a member of this order the only mammal that can fly order marsupialia kangaroo belongs to this order in these animals females possess pouches to carry young ones and obviously the hierarchy levels next to order are also different so i am sure that you must have got some idea as to how is classification done now let's just have a look at the classification of these three animals at a glance so students we have seen that living organisms show a great diversity in terms of habitat structure nutrition pattern and so on hence to study them systematically classification is very necessary while grouping the organisms we must take into account the similarities and differences a classification system begins with a large group and ends with a single species even though in a classification system the next level becomes narrow in terms of characteristics still it is a part of previous levels now students can you try to classify a dog or a cat or a parrot or a fish even if you don't know their groups correctly at least try to list and study their characteristics then try to find features that are common and also the differences needed to classify them